Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm here today to share with you my Make 9 2018. So, so I have put together my Make 9 into categories. I have the category of casual dress, of Sunday dress, of tops, skirts, pants, um, gear and outerwear is what I would have decided that I am going to concentrate on. So I made a list of all the categories. I also have the category of cardigan, but the the nine things that I am definitely going to make this year, I put a little star by so that I can keep track and I can stay focused throughout the year. So first up is casual dress. And in this category, I want to use Something similar, I, I'm not sure I'm committing directly to because there are parts of this pattern that I'm not sure will be to my liking. But it's McCall's M7470 and I want to make view D in length but put on a short sleeve. So that is what I want to do out of a chambray. I think it will be wonderful for spring and um, summer and probably transition well into the fall as well. Then, as far as Sunday dress, I want to make myself a shift dress. I want to make it out of a border print or a beautiful floral. And I have two patterns um, that I will be working with to make that. The first one is McCall's MP311. This was the first shift dress pattern that I purchased last year. Uh, but I never really liked the neckline. It was too high um, for me. I like it to come down to my collarbone and this one would be above my collarbone. So um, then I found Simplicity D0637. I should clarify this so you all know what a cheapskate I am. I found this first, but I wasn't going to pay full price. So this was on sale, so I grabbed it and I thought, oh, it'll be fine. Then this came on sale and I thought, I'm going to buy it because that's the one I wanted in the first place. So I bought two. Cheapskate, I don't know, I ended up having to buy two instead of just waiting. What do you do? There's so many patterns. So that's what I did. So a shift dress for my Sunday dress. Then as far as tops, this is the category where I'm going to be concentrating the most on because it's the area in my wardrobe that I need the most of because it's the everyday sorts of things. So I am working on um, a t-shirt pattern for myself. I'm taking several patterns that I've liked and I'm tweaking them and getting them so they fit me just the way I want my t-shirts to fit. So the first one is McCall's 6964 and I got this because of the v-neck and I made it and the v-neck is too low so I am currently it's sitting on my cutting table um, to work on raising that v-neck. I'm not sure that I like the round neck. I like my round neck like I said before just a little bit lower so the McCall's M7247 has the round neck that I like. And so I'm going to make myself another one, another shirt out of this pattern. Uh, Cause I made one in November, I just put the overlay on it. And all I have to do with this pattern is just not cut out the overlay and ta-da, you have a nice shirt. So I'm gonna make one for myself, make sure it fits right. But that's um, the first tops. And then the next category for tops for me are knit tops that aren't t-shirts. So something just a little dressier than a t-shirt or that's made out of a sweat sweater knit like this first one, M7243. I like this wrap um, look for the top. I think it looks really flattering and it will be um, the one of the first ones that I try in this category is this McCall's with the view A. Then I also like this one because of all these pleats on the neckline. They just look really pretty to me. And then I got this one uh, because it can also be used with a woven and I have some wovens that I really like that I thought would be fun um, to try this. And also some like novelty quilting prints would be uh, fun to make a, a top with and throw a cardigan on. So that's why I have that. And that's kind of my dressier um, tops category. And then the last one is is I really want to get the woven tops with buttons figured out for myself. And so I've been working with this new look pattern 6104 and um, there have been a lot of comments about how I should go about this and I, I don't know, I kind of wing it and so I have made some adjustments to it and I've made two tops so far. I think um, the next one what I'll do is do a sway back adjustment because the only problem I have with this top now is that the um, the neckline kind of stands out from my body and when I've kind of tweaked it and played with it, it feels like if I can take the back 
and do that sway back adjustment that it will take care of that issue for me. So that um, is that finishes up the tops category. The next category is skirts. I want to make myself a denim skirt that's just like an everyday denim skirt that I can wear especially during the summer and I want it to be a long full skirt um, that will be comfortable for me to wear um, in the summer. I I live in the country, I have a large garden, I'm working in my yard, um, running around with kids, I want a very durable and a skirt that will cover me well and so I got the Simplicity 4188 and it has this wonderful fullness that I'm really excited to try. I will not be making this out of a heavyweight denim, it will be a lightweight denim and so I'm excited to try this out for a skirt this year. The next category, I'm sorry I keep looking down to make sure I've got it right, are pants. And I won't be wearing making Levi's like many people I've been seeing around, but I just don't need Levi's right now. So I'm sticking to the things that I really need and will be wearing. So I have this New Look 6836 and these pants I'm interested in um, making because they're kind of a light, flowy fabric, wide leg, and I need some black dress pants to wear um, when I play in the orchestra with my orchestra. I play the cello and a, I think a pant will be a lot more comfortable for me to play in than um, my black skirt which I have now. So I want to get some rayon and make this and it's just a pant with a side zip. There is not a uh, like an elastic waistband um, on it so I'm excited to try this pattern out. I've used this pattern to make the top and it just didn't go well. It was partly um, the, the fabric choice and the other part was just the neckline was just too low to work for me. But I, I'm excited to try these um, pants out. The next category is outerwear and I want to make a vest, a quilted or a puffy vest for myself. And I will be using probably some fabric from a place called Ripstop by the Roll and so that I can get kind of a water resistant or waterproof fabric for the outside and something maybe a little softer and cuddlier on the inside and they also have down so that I could make it down or I could just put a quilt batting in it and quilt it. I'm not exactly sure but I need a vest for my outerwear especially for when I go camping, backpacking, um, hiking. I, I, I enjoy wearing a vest. So. What I have that I've used in the past is this McCall's pattern 2479 and this was probably like almost 20 years ago that I used this pattern to make some jackets, some fleece jackets. I took a sewing class and it was so much fun. But um, I like this because it's very boxy. I don't want something that's super form fitting. Um, so this is what I'm thinking of and it has a great pocket um, that just a great pocket that um, has zippers in it and everything. So this is what I'm looking at using um, as I start this thought process of uh, a quilted or a puffy vest for my outerwear. The last category is gear. I am a hiker and a backpacker and so I go with my whole family and it gets heavy to carry everything and so last year I bought a kit for a tarp to put over your hammock um, when you're backpacking or camping and I didn't get it done and this year I'm going to get it done and we're going to use it. Um, probably my son will use it as he's the one that already has a hammock and I'm really not interested in hammock camping so much as just having a lighter weight shelter than my four pound four man tent. So this is the bag that has everything I need, um, the fabric, the um, straps, the D-rings, and the pattern. So that is my make knife for 2018. I have a good amount of work ahead of me and I am excited for the year ahead as I focus on my list and I'm going to have this list where I can see the direction um, that I am going as I reviewed last year's sewing and where I really want my sewing to go and to be. These were the categories and the 
articles of clothing that I really wanted to focus on making for myself so that I can get the fit down. I will talk more about why this is so important to me when I post my video for the Smiley Challenge um, in February. So stay tuned for that. Appreciate this community and I hope you are all having a wonderful day and sewing up a storm. We just found a trail marker that says turn left. And the big secret is we brought a map and we looked at it and yes, we are turning left. Trevor's now mad because I let that big secret out that we actually looked at the map. <laughs> I have a camera and it's on. You can't hit me with snow. <laughs> no, you can't. Ah! <laughs>